hi thank you very much for clicking on to this video so this is a different type of video basically i'm just gonna be chatting and sharing or whatever uh kind of ranting a little bit too but like some of y'all could definitely relate to what i'm about to say y'all and this is just something to be aware of like seriously especially if you are a woman and you've just been like you know pretty much um focusing on yourself but you know you could be like attracting certain type of energies and this is kind of too like what i was talking about the whole um like that trickster or like a joker type of spirit is like moving around like very swiftly like seriously and you know with the um with that it's like it don't discriminate against like anybody it could be like you know an older woman older man or whatever but in that specific dream it, it was shown where it's like a woman trickster spirit like in the workplace or like a work environment but just in general it's like that trickster joker type of energy or spirit is definitely out here moving around very swiftly um so yeah but i do want to mention this um and this is the reason why i'm sharing this message too so this morning i was shown something in regards to like a child predator y'all like so definitely if you do have children or a child or whatever definitely make sure you pay like extra close attention i know for some people you already know this but sometimes you know things can get you know um it's like there could be some type of distractions or whatever the case is but sometimes it's like you know you gotta um be reminded to just continue to stay alert pretty much but um that's what i was shown <clears throat> this morning or whatever but no earlier today and i was like taking heat of it too right so like earlier today um randomly this guy had approached me right and i really won't think enough nothing of it or whatever because i just be minding my business or whatever and i'll be on my zoom like you know doing my videos or whatever i don't really be like paying attention to nobody but of course i do be like paying attention to my surroundings or whatever but um and i thought this was kind of odd too because you're not really sure if anybody else has experiences or whatever but like i thought this was kind of odd because like a older guy right he's like in his like he was basically like he's 60 i don't know his exact age but he told me he was 60 he looked like he was 62 but he thought like he assumed y'all that and i know some people probably think the same thing on here but like he thought that i was in my 20s like he thought that i was like in high school and i when i had told him i was 34 right he was like blown away um and i got gray hair too i'm like what? but i i guess i still look young or whatever i don't know i look i feel like i look 34 i don't know but like he was actually pretty shocked that i had said i was 34 but he assumed I was like in high school or like um, I was like he wanted to say he thought I was like 19, basically like the legal age or whatever, or like 18 or something. But he didn't completely say it. But my intuition, my discernment was definitely letting me know like what was up with him or like, you know, what type of time he was on. But um, yeah, so basically he just was like, you know, pretty much like trying to talk to me or whatever, offer me his number and then he's it's like he wanted to be friends knowing good well he don't want to be just friends or whatever but like the type of energy that he had it was like a very trickster joker type of spirit so this could be like confirmation for some people um especially like i feel like it's more so in regards to like the path that you're on y'all especially if you feel like kind of lonely it's like maybe you don't have a lot of friends or like a social group or whatever it's like you may not be in a relationship or uh, or whatever and that's fine it's like you really have to trust like the guidance or like the signs that you could be seeing like surrounding your like your love life or your path in general because there's always going to be some type of distractions and it also too it's like this like tr um it's like people that um that come on your path and it's like they'll try to like trick you or make you think that like they're meant to be on your path when you know they not especially when you can like feel their energy and it's like when they start talking about energy too and it's like their energy could be off that's how you know they got something on them like you know they operate out of a certain type of spirit they on a different type of time um so yeah and i thought that was kind of odd because i'm like i won't really say it too much because i don't mind chatting with nobody like i'm i feel like i am very friendly i don't really talk a lot but like i'll sit there and chat with somebody but i won't be saying a lot i'm gonna be sitting there listening to what they gotta say or whatever 
and I ain't really say too much. I'm just letting him talk or whatever. And he, it was like red flag. <laughs> Yo, I was just like, and I'm like, dang, that's how these, um, that's how these 60 year old guys moving out here. They moving like the young ones. Like seriously, I couldn't really see a difference. But I thought it was kind of funny because I'm like, that's the first time I've been approached by like a guy like in a long time like not trying to put my business out there but no it's true and i'm like hold on i'm like why the universe keep sending me this like why would the universe do that like what's up like what's t at this point because i'm like that's kind of weird like he's 60 basically he want to be my sugar daddy that's basically what he was saying but it was given like the bare minimum type of sugar daddy because he wants something more or whatever or he trying to um see what he can get from out of me thinking that I don't know what's up or whatever and I'm just like wow but that says a lot it's like a 60 year old man is out here looking for like a younger woman it's scary out here I'm like wow and that's the, that's the only reason why I sat there and chatted because usually I'll just pull off or whatever I'll be like I gotta go <laughs> I pull off real quick but like i just wanted to see what he had to say because i ain't really had my ear to the streets or whatever you know in the dating world you know how people mingling out here but yeah i'm glad i stuck around and listened to what he had to say because like what is really going on it's like if he down to mess with somebody in high school ain't no telling and i was like wow that's kind of crazy i had that dream about the um like a child predator or whatever and it was specifically like a black um, male too. But, um, and it's like they were in a dark, I, I should have mentioned the details y'all, but I feel like it really won't need for no details. But basically I had saw like a, a, um, a black male, an older black male in a room, a dark room with a child. And it's like, just imagine you walking in on, you know, like the person, like you didn't know your child was in there with the person or whatever and it's like you find out and it's like all oh, h-e-l-l -L, break loose because like what is you doing but yeah that's basically what i had saw so i'm that's what i was saying like putting it out there but it's like the fact that i encountered that guy like that type of energy it's like the type of time that he's on it's like he ain't about nothing and it was like and i was like wow i was like that's kind of um I don't want to say embarrassing, but I mean, low key, it kind of is embarrassing, but it's like, it really enlightened me about how certain people be thinking. It's let me know that I am doing the right thing. Like I am on the right path, especially when it comes towards like my mindset, because his mindset was like messed up and I'm like, wow. Um, cause first of all, he was noticing and that's why you got to pay attention to. Cause like, um, it's like guys are like men or whatever, especially like older men, they'll sit back and be like watching younger women like you know seeing how they move or whatever and basically his assumptions about me was like completely different like like from what he thought that i was about or whatever and i'm not really sure exactly what all he was thinking but it was the type of energy the type of questions that he was asking too and i was just like wow his mindset is really messed up um because it felt like i was talking to like a, a guy that could be like my age or like younger but um he had a mindset of black i'm gonna just say that and this is um this is based off him noticing that I had my car running, right? Like he all up in my business, like low key, trying to figure out what I'm doing. But basically I had left my car running. Well, my car was like running or whatever. Cause I be charging my phone. I was on my Zoom. So my phone need to charge. And he's like, oh, you must got some money or whatever. See, red flag right there. Cause why is you worrying about how much my, um, how much gas, you know, I'm running or whatever in my car. If I'm gonna run my car, I'm gonna run my car. But that's a mindset of lack. Cause he thinking about the gas or whatever or me running my car it's fine but um yeah and he's like looking all up in my um car or whatever and i guess he had noticed he had noticed the um <laughs> and y'all this is so crazy because like the um uh, i got a box of um oracle cards down here because i was using them yesterday but it's specifically the archangel michael sword of light oracle cards and I had noticed him looking down because he was like looking all around my car or whatever, like peeking around, but I ain't really got nothing in here anyway. But he saw, he noticed that and he started, and I guess he saw like the side of my, um, he's basically, he saw where like I had cards, like tarot cards. 
and he started mentioning because in the back of my mind i'm like don't like let me find out he be watching my channel or whatever but then i thought about i was like no nah, he peeping down there being nosy trying to see what i had in my car because he had mentioned something about like interpretation he was like yeah if you um um if you can't interpret it you know the right way or whatever basically about me let him into my life let him into my energy like me getting to know him and i'm just like wow and then he also too saw my little um scripture thing and guess what this one say too it says like the side that it was flipped over on because it got two sides or whatever and i just keep this in my car because somebody had had a person had randomly handed this to me like when i really really needed it the most like seriously i was like at this job that they was giving me some problems but the side that it was shown on i just bit my tongue but it says god will shelter you with his wings his faithful promises are your armor and protection and this is psalms 91 yeah it's psalms 91 verse 4 so it's like you really got to understand it's like really trust the guidance that you are receiving like even when it comes towards like your love life or your path in general because it's like the path is very lonely y'all like seriously like sometimes i do be feeling like kind of sad because it's like i don't i feel like i don't really connect with a lot of people or whatever um and it's not like in a bad way or whatever but it's just like i don't know it be getting lonely but it's like you cannot fall for the tricks and the schemes because like and it's crazy because the way he was um trying to make it seem like too and i noticed that certain people be doing this too it's like when they want to like be in your energy because he had mentioned that too it was like something about me or my and he's like he felt my energy and i was like yeah he on a different type of time or some little something that sent him my way on my path or whatever trying to see like you know how i would react or like would i see into that type of energy well i let that distract me but he had mentioned something about my energy he was like yeah let me um like basically he was like and i was in my car too like because he's noticed that i was sitting in my car but i was like on my zoom basically i was like recording um <laughs> i was recording um a reading from my other channel that's what i say i'm on my zoom or whatever but he had noticed that and then he was like oh let me check on her like he thought something was wrong with me but i'd be completely fine by myself like i know how to entertain myself so it ain't look it ain't like i was looking like stranded or whatever i deserted i just be minding my business but um he had mentioned like basically how he was trying to word it because like i would i didn't want to take his number or whatever especially after some the certain questions that he was asking i'm like okay now He's trying to get deep into my business. I try to see, you know, what's going on with me or whatever. And he don't need to know. But he tried to make it seem like <clears throat> he was sent on my path or whatever. Um, so I can see, like, what he's, <clears throat> excuse me. I forgot how he worded it. But basically, it's like, like, let's just say you are feeling lonely. It's like, you know, you want to go out with people, like that type of energy or like travel with people, right? But, um you just have not connected with your soul tribe and i'm talking about your soul tribe not like people who are um sent on your path to like dim your light or you know put you down or whatever or distract you lead you astray not them type of energies like you'll know if the people are meant to be like in your life or whatever um and it and i feel like too it could be um signs of that is like the mindset y'all could have you know similar mindsets and they do have things going on for themselves too like they not looking at your possessions or like what you got going on to help them better themselves so it's like you know definitely pay attention to that too some of y'all already know this y'all but some people be needing like reminders because it's it's um people that's younger on my channel like way younger on my channel that watch me or whatever so that's why i put out these type of messages because I know some of the older ones being like a little smart thinking like, you know, I'm telling them what to do or whatever. But it's like not just for you. It's like, you know, all ages. But um, yeah, basically he was trying to make it seem like um, I was missing out on an opportunity of him being my friend or whatever. And I'm like, wow. But I noticed like they be doing that. I don't like I don't know what type of spirit it is like a jezebel type of spirit because the jezebel spirit the jesse spirit don't even discriminate it could be like woman man child yeah so they be doing it it's like they're trying to make it seem like you missing out on opportunity with them like you passing up on them and then he mentioned something about um 
he said something about some deja vu he says he's like yeah at that point i was like <laughs> it was sound like that um <laughs> excuse me y'all his voice was sounding like um that thing from charlie brown is like one like seriously because i had zoned out because i'm like yeah i already know what he um when he said that trying to make it seem like i'm missing out on opportunity with him when he came up to me i wasn't looking at him but um yeah that's he's talking about some deja vu like basically um what he was saying y'all he was saying a whole bunch <laughs> basically he was trying to make it seem like later down the road like possibly like he said something about 10, 10 years from now I may come across like the same type of person like he is like the same age or whatever and it's like I may think about what he has said to me and I'm thinking to myself like now you know because my discernment real good now I know for sure that's not going to be the case and I was like you know what see I feel like that was some type of test or like pretty much a um uh, energy trying to like um distract me and he started mentioning that too because when he noticed i had the um cards or whatever it's like oh i can't mess with her i can't play with her because like it seemed like she know you know what's up or whatever but um i was like wow and then he started talking about how <laughs> and i was like well i cannot believe this is happening but i'm so glad it did happen too because it's like some of the certain things that he was talking about i just knew that it just like confirmed to me that like spirits really do be operating out of people y'all they be jumping from body to body from body to body but he started talking about god y'all and he started talking about he and he basically he was like revealing like his true character to me that's why you got to sit back and listen to people like when they be talking but like he started talking about god and he said yeah all you gotta do is this um ask god or whatever um like it's the you know this the right thing for me to do or whatever like basically all about him being in my life y'all like this is crazy but then he started talk, he started talking he started saying like you know people are like really wicked out here and all this other stuff and then he started mentioning too it's like you seem like you a good person like um you wouldn't um you wouldn't try to like get over on me basically what like what i took from that and that's why you really gotta like sit back and listen to what people be saying basically that's what he planned on doing to me like straight up i was like yeah i already knew because like you know how like it's certain men that out here that be trying to like see what type of women they can um get over on because some of the certain questions that he was asking me basically like he um Oh, because he had came over here and he wanted to see, like, if I was okay or whatever. And I was completely fine. But, I, you know, I started chatting with him or whatever. And I was like, no. I was like, I just did, like, an air freshener bomb in my car. And, you know, if you use one of those things, it tell you, like, to close the windows, like, get out of the car or whatever. Because I didn't want to suffocate and be choking in here. But like, I had did one of them, so I had to wait a little bit to get back in my car or whatever. And I guess he was watching me the whole time. But, like, um, he was like, oh, can you buy me one from my car? see that's a red flag too because why are you even mentioning that see and i feel like like pay attention to certain questions that these men be asking because like why would he even ask a woman that that's a red flag it's like why do i need to buy you an air freshener thing for your car even if you were joking it's like i don't see nothing funny about that because like that's letting me know like what type of mindset you got and then um he was talking about taking me he asked me something about like oh do you want to like go out for um breakfast i was like well i don't really be eating breakfast breakfast food like that especially not from the like restaurant the most i eat y'all is like a chicken biscuit from like um bojangles that's really like the only type of breakfast food or like some chicken minis from um chick-fil-a i don't be eating like all the breakfast food or whatever but yeah that's the most i'll do but i had said i was like i don't really be eating breakfast like that and he was like oh what about lunch dinner um and i was like nah i was like I don't, I don't really be like going out to eat like sitting down at restaurants or whatever and then he was asking me why i said yeah because it's not really that good or whatever and he's like oh you must can cook and then he talked about cooking for him and talking about oh another red flag too is like he talking about trying to show up like you know with me or whatever i'm like no uh-uh but it's like wow he's like at 60 years old like, that's pretty crazy like you on a different type of time or whatever and you out here looking for like younger women 
like that is crazy like basically he out here looking for a sugar um a sugar baby and i'm just not it like mm -mm. and um i wanted to mention to y'all because some of the things he was saying was actually it's almost like something was talking through him like seriously it was like something talking through him and it just really let me know that i am doing the right thing by my by minding my business and focusing on myself seriously because um what if, one of the things that he had mentioned like he started talking about how and this really showed his mindset too it's like how he see black women or whatever because it was basically given like a tyler perry movie y'all it's like the black woman you know it's hard like she hardly gets like a good ending and i'm like that's not my story and that really trick something about that be triggering me because it's like i don't like for people to like be rewriting my story especially when it comes towards my love life or whatever because it's like i am a single mom but it's like the fact that he would think that it's like um and i don't want to put like i don't want to share but i feel like it will help some people to understand like what i'm talking about it just may resonate with you but it's like if you are a single mom and it's like you don't deal with the you're not with the child's father it's like you know y'all not getting back together ain't no like oh back and forth type of thing it's like you're not doing that it's like certain men are trying to make it seem like that's what you're doing it's like they, that's like their assumption and i i do not like that because it's like what would make you think that and i and i know it is very common but it's like why would you even have that type of mindset so where you thinking that like you're assuming that I'm back and forth with my child's father. That really like turns me off and it's just like wow. Um it be really showing the mindset of certain men like and even just people too that you even think something like that. It's like wow, like what do I look like doing that? And I'm not trying to judge nobody who is doing that, but it's just like that's not my story. And that's the whole thing. Like that's and it's that's exactly what I don't want. So it's like I know to stay clear of certain type of energy especially like just based off the conversation it's like letting me know what type of path i'm gonna be going down <laughs> like straight up it's like sometimes you just gotta pay attention to the conversation if the conversation off and it's like they really revealing their true mindset that's letting you know to like stay far away like basically just start running if i ain't have my own um, if i went in my car i would start running from this man but i couldn't <laughs> but yeah um, that's pretty much what I wanted to say, y'all. Um, I just wanted to share that without actually like sharing my business. But I feel like it would help some, you know, some women out there that could be going through the same thing. Yeah. Sometimes it's just better off focusing on yourself. It's like you could be so lonely. Find something to do, like find some type of hobby. Go do something to keep you away from any type of distractions. Like seriously but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and go but thank y'all very much for um watching i didn't realize i was talking for 22 minutes y'all oh my god but if you stay for the whole video thank you very much i'm gonna um talk to y'all later